Hi, everybody. My name is Matt. I'm Jordan. And we decided to make a mobile version of this game called Two Rooms in a Boom, where you are basically having s secret identities and trying to figure out who each other are. And simple version of it is one team has a president, one team has a bomber. And throughout different uh, round changes, there are swaps in the two rooms. And if the bomber and the president are together at the end of the game, the bomber's team wins. And if they're separate, the president's team wins. Yeah. So with um, one of the challenges with the app was we kind of had two courses that we were, like could possibly take. It was either take this multiplayer game and port it so that you know people on like a video conference could play uh, remotely online, or we could do which the path which we decided to do was to keep it local, keep it interactive, um, and allow the the app to just kind of facilitate uh, in person you know interaction. Um, and so uh, we'll take you through a good chunk of it. A lot of the challenge that we have was working with sockets, um, working with React. Um, and so right now, when you start the game as a host, you would create a lobby, um, create a game ID, which then people that had joined the game will then use that unique ID to get into the same room. Um, and then we would start the game um, as the host. Each round is five minutes, or each round, the first round starts at five minutes, um, and then every other round it decrements, and during that round you like talk to people, um, discuss who you are, like try and gain as much information as you can. Um, and the way you, d and so everyone has a team which is a color, either red or blue, and a role. And so um, a problem that you have with the cards is like if you drop your card, like like everyone knows who you are now, you have to like reshuffle and start over. So the point of this app was to kind of try and remove some of the human error um, that comes while playing the game. And so we have like really fancy little like reveal buttons that like as you hold them down, do like fun little animation and show your color. Um, and then you would hold down the other one and it would show like what your role was. Um, and then a lot of this is still in beta. Yes, um, because because we we hook up sockets. Sockets are like sending the the game logic to the front end, um, and then we have to store that in Redux so each of the players can have access or the game can have access to properties on like our player objects so that it knows when to render certain things um, because there are certain things that like a leader can do and other players can't. And so the, a lot of the challenge was like managing what is rendered to which players based upon their state. And so we are like just at the point now where we're starting to um, connect the, uh, the server and game logic to the front end. Um, and so I just want to show you like one big thing with this was like having our, our I'll show a little bit of what's going on behind the scene with our game logic. I've sped it up. Um, yeah, so we don't have any databases. It's all on the server. So let's go. Yeah. yeah, so as you can see, we have some components that are kind of mapped out in terms of what the bun buttons are going to do, what the functionality is going to do. But we did spend a lot of time on kind of organizing out in our own mind how the game logic is going to work on the back end. So we have that working. So right now we're just trying to you know, sort out the socket situation and with Redux, as Jordan said, and then hooking up you know, all the, the front end work that we did. Yeah, because one of the challenges is there are certain things you can do while a round is running, and there are things that you can't do while a round is running. And so we needed to find a way to kind of roadblock the game logic mm -hmm. to allow um, these events to happen at the appropriate time. And so we have our little timer that runs. Um, I have it sped up from one second to uh, one hundredth of a second, I believe yeah. is what it is. And so after each round ones, eventually you um, will figure out what the, uh, the win condition is for the game. And so in this case, Red Team won because of the way that they were sorted originally. Um, so yeah, that's what we built. <laughs> yeah.